All right, guys. We are on the way to the battleship Texas. Right now it's about 7.45 a.m. High tide is expected at 9.09 .09 a.m. So we'll get there in plenty of time. And we'll answer that question. Is she floating or is she not? I think I know the answer because I think she is. There's a lot of folks that say she's not. So we're about to find out. Well, it's about 8.35. Park opens at 9 o'clock. Maybe they'll already have the gates open. I hope so, because back behind us there is a lot of rain. I didn't bring my duster, my boots, nothing today. But, if I gotta get all wet and muddy, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get all wet and muddy. Looks like the battleground is closed, and so is the battleship. So, gotta find a way to kill a couple minutes. Like 25 of them. And then I shall return. High tide's at 9.09. Park opens at 9. Gives me just enough time to get over there and record it. Be back in about 30, folks. Here's a shot of the Texas from the road for you. The road in front of her. She's hidden behind the trees. She just pops out from behind the trees like a magnificent beast. and disappears again. All right, let's try our luck. Oh, looks like there's the gate guy right there. Opening up the monument side and looks like he's already got the battleship side. So we're in, baby. Let's go check that tide. This is another rather picturesque view as you're coming into the battleship because again, she just pops up out of nowhere. As you can see here, the area that was a lake the other day has dried up. It means the mosquitoes are gonna come out real soon. Let's get to the top of these stairs here. Take a look at the ship, see what you, oh, what's this? Mary Poppins crash landed here? My goodness, maybe I'll find her up here, can help her out. You probably can't see it yet, but it looks like the tide is up about a foot foot and a half from here and the number four appears to be in the same place let's get down here closer look check it out from the same spot the same angle as we did in the low tide well this ground was really really wet unfortunately i didn't take my mud boots or my duster in case it started raining but if i gotta get wet and muddy then i'm gonna get wet and muddy Let's get right back over here to our original location at low tide. Take a look, see exactly how high that tide is right now. Unfortunately, I didn't place a marker stick, so I can't tell exactly, but it should be pretty simple to tell that it's very much higher. As you can see, the water level is now almost flush with the ground. To me, that puts it at about a foot and a half higher than at low tide.
that we have our answer to the question, is she floating or is she not? Obviously she is. That's great news. So those of you out there that say she's not floating and will never float again, I don't mind when I stand corrected. So I'm not gonna mind that you stand corrected. She's afloat. And why they haven't taken her dry dock yet is any man's guess. I suppose there's good reason. Maybe they don't have a dry dock yet. So there's another project I've been wanting to work on. Been wanting to use some 3D software and do a 3D. That's right. Battleship tech. We got stormy weather today, although it's not here right now, it is on the way. It's fairly windy. But I want to do that 3D so bad I am really tempted to take on this wind to get the photos and data recorded that I need to do that 3D. I think I'll break out the drone and see how she holds up to the wind. Oh, it's windy. Get that drone. Take a risk. And see if I'm brave. Because the drone don't care. Well, the drone is up there right now. It's really windy, man. And I don't mind telling you I am really nervous. So far, it's following its path good. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, and this wind is really making me nervous. Just gonna have to trust the app. Trust that it does what it says it does. Recover if it doesn't. And cry if I can't. Alright, she is on her way back. And look at this, it's starting to rain. It's coming. Right above me. Here we go. Return to home. Yeah, I don't mind telling you. Like I told you several times already, that was nerve wracking. It's still nerve wracking. This wind is really whipping. Yeah, but she's coming down to me. Thank goodness. Oh, look at the birds up there. Hey, I'm glad to see you. Yeah, hey, don't scare me like that next time. But I must tell you, you did a great job. Exactly what I asked you to do. And you finished up. Woo! Well, I got the main thing done that I wanted to get done out here today found out that she is afloat. So that's great news. Uh, also, like I said earlier, been wanting to work on that 3D model of the, of the uh, Texas. So I uh, bit the bullet, took the risk, got the drone in the air, and got the shots I need to upload and get that processed. I was really wanting to fly a couple orbits, a couple parallel runs to the ship and get more photographs, but this rain is settling in and it's about to get hard, so I uh, can't have the drone in that kind of weather, y'all know that. But anyway, I'm going to process these and see what they come out like, and unless they're terrible, I'll go ahead and upload those to YouTube, and if they are terrible, I'll just wait for another day when I can come out here and do it again, get better pictures, and maybe a sunshinier day. But I'm getting in the car, heading out. Is that rain? Is on its way. See you later, old girl. It's been a cheap, a drone, an old man, and a battleship Texas. All of us will be seeing you next time. Yeah, maybe.
Bring it up the Jeep.